Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a line graph and a symbol, line plus symbol graph in Origin Pro. But before that, let me show you how you can change or what is my PowerPoint version. You can change your theme from a simple white color to a black theme. You can also change the uh, layout and office background. You can also change the color. I tend to use the black colors to protect my eyes because I use Microsoft PowerPoint and the screen a lot. So I just tend to use a the black theme. So now let's just get started and I will go to origin uh, before that I'm going to copy this sample data which is actually the amount of electricity produced from renewables in the world. So I'm going to paste this data here. Now you can see that we have different data in different column. I'm going to cut that column and paste it up and this is our title. So for this one I'm going to go and go to plot 2D and select the line graph. Now you can see that we have this line graph as you can see and it's quite boring in the start. There are thin lines and not too prominent. Also the legend here is too big, we can make it smaller and also work on it. So now just click on this line, you will see a different option and you can change it to a different plot. Now you can see that these bars are so big, so now these squares and these, the thickness of line can be changed. So when you click here, you can see the thickness and the size is increasing. When you decrease it, it will decrease. So let's just choose an appropriate size of 6 and then leave it. And similarly, we are going to increase the thickness of the line by just clicking here. Now you can see that the overall thickness and the points are adjusted. Now once you click here, you can see an option for a border. Now you have two borders here, but no axis. But when you click over here, you have also an option for axis. So this one is for the top, this one is for the bottom, left and right. And similarly, you can also use the axis for all the four corners. Now you can see these are the axis titles and also the axis rotations. Now you can also make the tick marks on the outside. If you want, you can also make it inside or both inside and outside. So it all depends on you. So now if you click in inside and outside, it will have both. Now if we just click on outside, it will go on outside. Now let's just remove the boundary of this uh, legend. So just click here and type 0 and it will remove the boundary. So now the legend has no boundary and it has white background in the background. So now as you can see there our year is starting from 1990 but there is an initial starting place. So just double click here and there will be a new dialog box. So now you can see a dialog box here. There are different options which is now firstly we'll go to scale. Now you have two options, horizontal scale and vertical scale. So now for the horizontal scale, we are going to change the axis from 1990 and click on apply. Now you can see the additional space in the start is removed. Now you can add another axis, another uh, the ending point for the graph which is 2019. So when you click on 2019 and click on apply, it will also apply. But they are not showing all the values on the graph. So what you can do is you can change the major ticks. For example, if you are doing with an increment, that means it will add a certain number of years and it will just show those values. And then if you change that, it will change accordingly. So greater the increment, great lesser will be the number of values and lesser the increment, greater the number of values being shown in the graph. If you do by counts, it will change on to 11 numbers. That means it will show 11 numbers in the graph. But this is too, uh, too, uh, or how to say, too crowded. So we wanted them to be nice and precise. We can also add our custom numbers, which is you can add a number, put a space, add another number, put a space, add a number, numbers, put a space. So you can add all the series and put a space, just like I did right now. It looks more uh, better and clear and more visible. Instead of putting so many years in the timeline, it will not make your graph visible. Now let's just work on the horizontal axis. So horizontal axis is starting from 10. Let's make it from 0 and also we can change this from 0 to 45. Now if you click on 0 you can see the length of the y axis is changed from 0 to 45. Instead of choosing from 0 to 100 I tend to use from 0 to 45. Now you can also change the display category. You can also change it to look like scientific numbers. You can also choose the engineering format or you can just choose uh, a simple decimal format. One more thing which you can do is you can add a prefix or a suffix. For example, if I these are the percentages of the electricity being produced, so I will just click on percentage. Now you can see the number and percentage are together. In order to give them a space, you can add a space first and then add a percentage sign and then click apply and you can see that one. One easy way to show and repeat the same format for both settings, you can just click here and check use same options for left and right and you will see that the same is applied on the left and right. So now Let's work on the other parts of the graph. Now if you go in the ticks, now you can see different options which just shows the tick options. Now you can also see the title, sorry, the title of the uh, graph. Now you can see from the left hand side the title I'm going to change from uh, simple world to share of renewable energy for electricity production. 
So once I click on apply, it will appear and it will replace the current title which is world. So now if I click on apply, you will see that it has been replaced with share of renewable electricity and renewable energy for electricity. So now you can see this graph, but when I check on this one, it will not repeat because there's already a title there. So instead I have to do that manually, go to the right axis and click and paste that here and you will see that same title over here. You can also reduce the length or font of the uh, title. You can either decrease the 17 or 18, but I prefer using uh, a little bit bigger, which is 22, which is more visible in the overall graphs. Because when you put these images or these graphs in the manuscripts or in the presentations, they become tend to be really small. So it's better that you use a bigger font and more clear fonts. Now let's move to the other part, which is the grid lines, which are the grids. So now you can see that there are different options, which are the major grids and the minor grids. So once you click on the minor grids, they will have one smaller line inside the major grids. So when you click on horizontal, now you will see that these lines will start appearing in the horizontal phase. So I prefer to use the grid lines, only major and minor grid lines when we have bar charts. When we have line, I only tend to use major grid lines. So now when we go to the other part of the uh, graph, we can see that now we are going to work on the ticks. So as you can see that we can also manage this one from the outside on the main uh, chart and once I change the thickness of the line you can see the thickness has increased. So it's up to you whether you want to increase the thickness of the x-axis or whether you want to increase the thickness of y-axis depending upon your own choice. So now I will go in the top and see the size here and then I will go back to the bottom again and we will keep the same size. So I can also add a special tick as special place for example. So this option is to add minor ticks inside and outside or you can add or both. I'm just going to keep it outside and we'll just keep it as generic as the one shown in the top side. So now when we go in the special ticks, you can see an option here, access begin exit. You can enter a specific value and it will show a tick over there. For example, if I add 1990, it will show something like this, apply. 1993 so it shows a line over here right now so if I want to add somewhere in the middle for example if I add 1997 it will show exactly right exactly next to 1996 because the interval is too small but if I make it 1998 it will come a little bit in the middle how about if I make 1999 so it will come exactly in the middle of 1996 and 2002 so these are sometimes when you want to show a specific part in the in the graph so if you don't want to show them you can also you don't need to show it now this is the most important part of the graph which is a reference line. For example, sometimes you have to add reference lines in your graph to show that, for example, this is a minimum value and this is a maximum value. I'm going to show you how you can do that. For example, if you want to shade a graph, so this is axis begin, so and you want it shade and fill it to axis end and click on apply, you can see a dark gray background. But what if I want to change this background? I will click on detail and it will have a second dialog box. Now you can change the color from here and go to gray and change a different color and click on apply and you can see the color in there but this color is too dark I want a little bit light color so I can change the transparency to 70% or 80% up till 100 so now you can see this is a transparency now what if I want to add a specific line on the horizontal axis or the vertical axis for example on a horizontal axis I want to add a line in between an 8 so if I write 8 the value here and once I click here and click on apply you will see a small line here which is too light so go to the details and similarly increase uncheck the auto format and increase the thickness once you click here apply you will see a thick line over here you can also change the color for the thickness line and it will change to red you can also change the style of the line you want you can change to dash you can change to dot you can add long dash or small dash or dash and dot with a uh, combination it's up to you so right now I'm just adding a combination showing how you can do it. Now for what for example I want to add one more line. For example, I want to add a line over 30. So at 30, so when I click and use the same format with the previous one, you can just copy, right click on 8 and say copy format and you can do the same thing with that one. So once you do like this, you will see another line on the 30% and that's your reference line. So that's how you make a reference line in the graph. Now I'm just going to make small changes, uh, the graph is pretty much done. I'm going to drag it, I'm going to move it a little bit up so that it has equal space above it and below it so that it has a proper symmetry. I'm going to move it a little bit on the right hand side so that it looks similar with the one on the left hand side. So our graph is done. So these graphs are high quality graphs and you can easily copy them. 
Now let's go to another part, which is uh, this small part, and we don't need to make much changes because most of the changes has been done. You can also add breaks in your chart. For example, you want to uh, make a segment in your chart. You can just go into break and you can add the number of breaks you want. For example, let's say four. You can see that the graph has been divided into four intervals or four parts. So now if you want to increase it, you can also do it like this. I increase the number of intervals and it will appear like this. Or if you want a specific interval, you can enter the values. Similarly, you can do the same thing on the horizontal axis also. When you do that, you can see that the horizontal axis has also been divided into four different, three different parts, depending upon the number of intervals you uh, show the number of intervals you inputted. You can also do that for custom intervals. It depends on you. But I haven't seen uh, the graphs which have the breaks, so you don't need it. So now just copy this graph by clicking, right clicking, and here the graph comes. So now these graphs are high images graph high quality graphs you can also export from the uh, origin pro but you can also copy them by right clicking on the graph and you can copy as a picture and now this graph has been done and it has been copied as a picture i hope you guys learned something from this video and you learned the basics of a line graph and a line plot graph and these graphs are really easy to make and really easy to easy to uh, follow the instructions given in the origin pro and they are high quality graph which make your presentation and post really nice so I hope you guys like my video. If you haven't watched my previous videos on animation or the front cover slide or ending slide or how to make a resume or how to make a PowerPoint poster, please do check them out. If you haven't liked and subscribed and haven't commented yet, please do leave your comment and subscribe my channel for more content and to support me for making this channel uh, grow a bit more. If you have some suggestions or if you want to learn something different in Origin Pro or PowerPoint or something else, please leave your comments down below in this comment section and I will get back to you. I hope you guys like this video. Till then, take care. Allah. Peace.